Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be talking about something that you've all been asking about. What levels should my 5.1 speakers be at? And you know, you would think, oh, they're all the same, but for cinematic mixing, that's simply not so. Now, in your home theater, you know, just they, they should, you could probably keep them all the same if you'd like, maybe add three more decibels to the surrounds. But in the studio, we have a very specific way that we want these speakers to be set up. If you're mixing for the internet, you want your dialogue norm to be roughly minus 75 decibels. Well, what does that mean? That means basically that your meter at minus 12 on your dialogue or your center track, when it's at minus 12 decibels, your center channel with pink noise should be at minus 75 decibels. For DVD or Blu-ray, that number on your meter should be 80 decibels. And on the VU for your center channel, that should be around minus 12 as well, maybe as loud as minus nine. But for cinema, cinema, that means that your meter is at 85 decibels. That's incredibly loud. And your meter is down at minus 23. I mean, your channel is down at minus 23 for center channel dialogue norm. That means you've got an awful lot of headroom out to 105 and maybe even 108 decibels for peak noises. For me, that's way too loud for me to mix at a 12 hour day. I'm gonna damage my hearing. I usually do most of my mixing at 75 decibels and then do my tweezing at 80 and then final mix down for cinema only at 85 for final little tweaks just so I make sure that nothing's going weird. But that's the center channel. What about the rest of the channels? Let's take a look and see where they should be. So here's a standard representation of a 5-1 situation, left, center, right, right surround, left surround, and then LFE is just off here in the corner. We're in Adobe Audition. If the center channel for, let's say, internet mixing needs to be at 75 decibels, then the right and the left need also to be at 75 decibels. These channels, all three of these, need to be basically at the same level, which isn't that surprising at all. Now, your right surround and left surrounds, these need to be actually, believe it or not, three decibels less. And you're like, well, wait, three decibels less? That's so weird. Why is that? Well, surround sound speakers, even if we're mixing for the internet doing binaural, which a lot of us are now, surround sound speakers kind of get lost in that matrix. And so if we can add 3 dB overall to the surround sound mix, that doesn't hurt anything. How do we do that? Well, if we turn down the speakers 3 dB, that means we're gonna drive the surround channels three decibels more and then get better volume that way. And this is the same for all the other deliverables as well, for Blu-ray DVD and especially for cinema, as we'll see in a moment. Cool. Now, what about the LFE? Well, your subwoofer and LFE channel is a weird challenge and there's a lot of misnomers about how loud this should be. Certainly all of these should be in the same equidistant space to the listening position. But the LFE, because it needs so much more power, we actually turn up. The surrounds we turn down 3 dB, the, the subwoofer we turn up and at 75 and 80 decibels, we turn it up four decibels more. That means that your sub at 75 dB needs to be 79 decibels. Your surrounds are gonna be 72, your LFE is gonna be 79. Well, why do we do that? Well, on the internet delivery, it's kind of not necessary. You could theoretically keep that LFE channel at the 75 with everybody else, but standard practice means that since the LFE needs that extra headroom, we turn it up in the studio, which means we turn it down on the uh, LFE channel, which gives us more headroom. The theory being that when you finally get to the final output, that's compensated for because in the theater or in the home theater, it's also turned up on the head unit or certainly in the theater it is. For internet delivery, you could keep it at 75 and that's okay. Now for the Blu-ray delivery, we're at 80 decibels, right? That means that these are all 80 decibels. It means that these are what, 77 decibels. We brought them down 3 dB. And now for sure we want to bring up the LFE uh, 4 decibels to make it 84 decibels because your home theater system definitely boosts your, uh, if you're doing one of those automatic things, it'll boost your sound, or your LFE's channel by 4, maybe even 5 decibels. If you mixed it at 80 decibels, you're going to get 4 more decibels of uh, uh, of LFE power, which, you know, if you really want that, you can certainly do it. For cinema now, 
Cinema, that center channel, and the L and the R are 85 decibels. Your surround channels are 82 decibels. And because now it's a coefficient, it's a ratio between the LFE and the other channels, now we boost it 5 decibels, not 4. That means now the LFE channel is actually 85 decibels louder. And in the cinema, this absolutely is the case, that they're boosting that LFE, by that LFE channel in the cinema, 5 decibels, maybe more. For me, what do I do? Well, let me tell you, I love LFE. And for me, if I know there's a cinematic experience or a movie content that really has a lot of pumping, a lot of power in that low frequency, I actually tune my LFE to the 80 decibels, no boost, and then make sure that I have a compression on that LFE channel that's very snappy, a 20 to 30 millisecond attack, with a 40 to 50 millisecond release, and that allows that LFE to just go bang and come back and restore itself so that we're not overdriving channels or there's just not LFE blowing out all over the place, and be very judicious about what you put in that LFE channel. You, this, is, this is not a case where you want to just put music in there um, because uh, people will get tired of it. You may overdrive the system. There's a bunch of other things, not to mention that you may find yourself uh, through legal limits. So one more time. The internet listening is 75 decibels, your surrounds are 72, your sub, you could leave it 75 or your LFE, or you could run it to 79 if you knew that you were going to actually deliver out of the internet, or you had a binaural experience that could compensate. DVD, Blu-ray, you're at 80 decibels, left, center, right, you're at 77 for the surrounds, and you're at 84 for the sub. Cinema, you're at 85 decibels LCR, you're at 82 decibels in the surround, and 90, 90 decibels on that subwoofer when you run your pink noise through it. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Um, uh, let us know if it has by simply subscribing to this channel and definitely please come visit us at Cinema Sound where we have hundreds of blog posts, not to mention all of the videos that we have here available for you on Surround Sound. Until then, we'll see you in the Mix Cinema. Even if you're